Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday here, bank holiday in the UK, 26 August. Very, very lively session at the Open last night. For those of you uh, that were awake in Europe, um, Darien plummeted down to 44, S&P's kind of gap down to 10. As our uh, U.S. colleagues mentioned, uh, Turkey Yen was the big, big mover. Um, dollar Turkey rallied up to basically 640. Um, and now here we are. Uh, but let's not talk about the past. Let's talk about the future. Uh, we get Dollar Yen here, 105.22. 21, 20, hopping around a bit. This probably uh, ends up going lower again today. You want to have this sort of, um, oops, just uh, get filled there. Um, you want to have your, your eyes set on um, lower price action and risk still. Liquidity is going to be at a premium because the UK holiday today, uh, which is going to add to uh, downside swings. So let's just take dollar yen here, for instance, and say um, this move back up to 80, massive squeeze. Could it have been MLF, BOJ? Hard to say. Um, but we want to basically be selling this between sort of I would say 30 and 50 today in the European session and look for a close below 105 today because the MOF isn't going to be able to control this they're only going to be able to control the speed of this so you want to sell high ones in dollar yen euro traded up to 63 just took out these stops from the 60 break uh, mid-month now this will be a pivot. This should get more traction if we get prices through 63. We like buying uh, euros on dips. You see the, there'll be a theme today. We'll be selling dollars in general, selling risk in general, selling crude uh, in general. So you can buy dips on this. Remember that 15 was the breakup on Friday. It'll be support there at 111.15. Dollar Cat hasn't really collaborated with what we thought would happen, but we think this is going to go today 133.40 130, uh, to 45 is your entry point up here. Uh, we printed a 39 high on Friday, and somehow we fished down to 80. Now we're back at 02. Um, we like this CAD yen higher. I mean, Dollar Cat higher. A lot of this will be driven by CAD yen lower. Aussie got smacked down to 66.89. Same deal here. We kind of closed the gap already, but we don't expect to see this above 67.50 um, today. So you want to sort of play around in the 40s and 50s, um, and then you can you can leave a stop above 67.78, but. Um, we don't expect to see this above 50 today. If you can pick your poison in the rest of them, it's kind of the same charts. Aussie Yen got smashed, it's come back. Um, you want to sell high ones in risk and just keep your eyes on the headlines. This is a headline driven market. So keep your Twitter feed up, keep your news aggregator up, um, watch crude. Uh, because that's often first on on news, geopolitical news. There's a little bit of risk brewing in the Straits of Hormuz again. I saw some headlines on that, so keep an eye on the news feeds today. Uh, Dollar Czar has been slow or slower compared to what Dollar Turkey did uh, on the way up for 1550s, very interesting, sort of like shock high now, um, and should there should be some risk above there. So 
eventually, um, although this could easily close the gap down to 23, it is dollars R. You want to try and be long dollars R um, for an eventual move above 1550. Stocks, as you can see, we printed this low. What was the low exactly? Ten and a quarter. This gap could easily get filled. Today, we're going to be selling between 48 and 68. Average true range is now 50 handles in um, ES. So let's keep in mind your position sizes, where your stops need to be, and what you're trying to do. Um, very, very volatile, uh, which is great, but need to recognize this volatility and trade appropriately. Eventually this thing is going to break um, break lower. The 200 day comes in at 28.05. Today the low was 28.10. Um, that'll be very very important to close below that and then we have even more lows coming. All bonds fixed income is higher as we can see and let's just take a look on crude. We do think this crude is going to break 50 bucks this week. Um, so playing this on the, on the short side makes sense to us. There is a gap to be closed. 54.08 uh, was the close. Didn't make any sense that close on uh, Friday. Feeling a little bit of FOMO there. Should have been short, short crude at those prices. Anyway, core short crude is, hasn't gone a million miles. Um, Core short crude uh, is the way I would sell today between 90 and 08. Um, and keep in mind, uh, volatility in crude is much higher. We're looking at um, $2 ranges um, in crude. So 68 cents is nothing. This thing could go haywire uh, both sides. So have your, you know, Stig discipline with your stops and whatnot, and um, we're going to use crude also risk off. The key to making money today is you're going to be your entries. You want to be patient, uh, and you want to be careful, and you want to size your positions correctly. Volatility is increasing. We've all asked for this. We begged for this. We prayed for this all summer. Now it's here. Let's take advantage of it. All right, I've said enough. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough today. Um, this, These are the conditions uh, where traders get paid. So let's go do that. Let's go get paid. Good luck, peeps. Talk to you tomorrow.